KC's Audio Vault. Dale Stewart from Seether. April 1st, 2009. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing good. How about you today? Good, I'm fine, thanks. Where are you phoning from? Uh, we're in Edmonton right now. And how is the weather? Any snow still over there? Uh, yeah, it's not snowing right now, but there's snow on the ground. It, it snowed last night, so it's kind of cold. Yeah, well, Win- Winnipeg just got uh, maybe half a foot last night and about a foot last week, so we are uh, a winter wonderland again. Uh, Winnipeg, yeah, it's, it's always cold there. <laughs> <laughs> the stereotype is true. I know, yeah. <laughs> Were you in Vancouver for the Junos as well, since you're on this Nickelback tour? Uh, we weren't. We actually just came off a break, um, so we didn't get to come up for there, but I think Nickelback got three awards. Yeah, that's right. Uh, they, they cleaned up yet again. That's awesome. To uh, congratulate the guys when I see them. Is the, the tour with, with Nickelback and Seether and Saving Able, is that just getting going as of now? We've actually been doing it for a while. Uh, we did it for, I think it was about a month, and then had this 10-day break now, and then now we've got about another, just short of a month to go. And how's it been with the guys? It's been really good. It's been a really, really good tour. Looking forward to the Canadian dates. I think those should be huge. But uh, every night, just huge sold-out arenas and uh, massive crowds and big stage. And well, now, the last time you guys came through Winnipeg, we're, it was shortly after uh, Finding Beauty and Negative Spaces came out. We weren't kind of chatting about how there's about maybe 60 songs that you guys had written for that. Have On the road, did you ever pull out some of these, these bonus tracks? No, not really. Um, it's actually kind of tough. The more you do this and, and the longer you're on the road and release albums, it's kind of hard to figure out what you're going to play and, and what you're not going to play live. If you have three or four albums worth of songs and singles from those albums, you pretty much only have time to play the single. So we try and mix it up and, and add different songs here and there, but the set list usually stays pretty similar. You, you have to play the songs that, that people want to hear fake it, break down, broken, you know, all, all the, the sort of single. Uh, if we have our own show and we, we have an hour and a half that, that we can play, then we sometimes we'll break up some of the older stuff and, and stuff that, you know, we might just play a song because we feel like playing it and it's a fun song to play and it might never have been played on radio. But on a tour like this, we only have 50 minutes, so it's very much just radio songs that hopefully people recognize from the radio. Have you been uh, doing the, the Wham cover, Careless Whisper? That we have been doing, and it's actually, it's funny, I think when we started, we were very much playing it because it was a fun song to play, and it was new and fresh to us, but the more that the tour goes on, and, and I guess the more people hear the song, the response gets better and better. Well, it seems like a, a funny choice, but I was, I was kind of listening back to the last interview we had when you and Sean were in studio with Power, and uh, he was complimenting you, you guys were talking about how you, uh, how you first met, and he said you were a really good guy, and he started to kind of hum, careless whisper. How, how far back was this, this song in your mind to, uh, to cover? To cover, I don't know. Um, we, we've always sort of had that running joke with the song, I guess. And actually, I guess, like the song, it's, a, you know, it's, it's actually a really good song and it's got a, a really good hook and, and a great melody. I think as far as covering it, we didn't really sort of have plans to do that until management said that we had this opportunity to, to do a, a song for, for this Valentine's Day thing on, on iTunes. And I think we both sort of looked at each other and decided that it would be a good idea to, to cover this song. I don't think we'd really thought about covering it before. We've always been a band that likes doing cover songs, and it's fun to play other people's songs, especially songs that you really like. So usually songs that are more within our genre, you know, I guess people would expect us to do uh, this one is such a sort of departure from what we've normally done. Uh, I don't think people really expected us to do this, so that kind of makes it even better. Take a song that sounds way different and make it sound like a Seether song. Well, Dale, I appreciate you giving the uh, Rock Report a phone call, and uh, Winnipeg, definitely looking forward to seeing you guys. See there along with uh, Saving Abel and Nickelback this Sunday night. Thanks a lot. All the interviews you want on iTunes and at Power97.com. Casey's Audio Vault. Casey Norman is Power97's music director and can be heard every weekday from 2 till 6 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Power97 is Winnipeg's best rock.